go don't stay what's good youtube family so we're gonna tell the truth about caitlin clark and the iowa women's basketball team first of all salute to them for even reaching the finals again but they've been there before last year who they keep losing to yeah they keep losing to those sisters you know it's sisters <laughs> let's fast forward Caitlin Clark is the most overrated basketball player of this generation. You can't be GOAT if you haven't won no rings at all. That's what you guys have been telling me all my life. All of a sudden, you want to move the goalpost for your darling? A lot of y'all wanted to say that Dawn Staley quoted herself that Caitlin Clark is the GOAT. Dawn Staley is a smart woman. She would never state that Caitlin Clark is the GOAT. She said she's one of the GOAT. Notice that Dawn Staley being smart as she is, she called Caitlin Clark one of the GOAT because many of the Mayo Nation people has been calling Caitlin Clark the GOAT, not one of the GOAT, not some of the GOAT, but the GOAT, overhyping her because she reminds them of their granddaughters, their sisters, their cousin, their actual daughters, just in general, their mothers. We know why majority of you people were rooting for all the women who look like me anytime they went up against Caitlin Clark. If you don't believe me, the hate is deep and most of America, because let's just be honest, we know the cold word for America doesn't mean people who look like me. It only means for the people who look like Caitlin Clark. This is why Doug Gottlieb can get on air on Fox Sports and say, oh, they're the reason the articles was written about LSU is not racist is because most of America don't like LSU. Whoa. Are you saying my household don't like LSU? My daughter and her teammates don't like LSU. No, you really meant that Mayo America doesn't like LSU. Because when most of you guys say America, you're not referring to guys who look like me. And it took me a while to learn that even when I was in the military. I'm not going to get into that. Let's stick to Caitlin Clark. This woman hasn't won anything yet. She's basically a hell of a scorer. Who hasn't won anything, but he's a hell of a scorer, and most of Mayo America keep making jokes about him? Carmelo Anthony, you know, the guy who took over college basketball for only one season and won an NCAA championship, but he keeps getting ridiculed by Mayo Nation, who keeps calling him a glorified Olympic winner, as if that's an insult. So I thought Mayo Nation loves patriots you love the flag so carmelo anthony wins a couple of olympic rings and you say it doesn't count but here we are in 2024 you're glorifying what caitlin clark did so she's the goal of losing championships you keep comparing her to larry bird not only that you keep having the audacity to say she's better than larry bird she's better than stephen curry she's better than ai she's better than all these legendary players such as magic johnson i mean that's the only thing espn and cbs and fox sports kept highlighting she's greater than them all huh what has she won the woman is a one-way player. She can't play defense to save her life. I can't wait to see her in the WNBA. She might as well take Ice Cube's money that he gave her, was well, trying to give her $5 million to play only eight games. And if they make the postseason, possibly 10 games only. Because when Caitlin Clark gets to the WNBA, I don't care how much fans they don't have rooting for them. I don't care how much low the ratings are. They're still professional players. I got news for you. Most of those professional players at the WNBA level, they were Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is not an anomaly. We see these great college female players every year. Since I was in elementary, guess what? 
since Dawn Staley played, we've been seeing these women, such as Lisa Leslie, such as Swoops, that y'all for some reason don't like. We've seen the great women like Candace Parker done this over and over. Or that one female you guys don't like. We're not going to say her name because of algorithm purpose, but she gets uh, locked up in Russia. And you guys forgot, like, she didn't do magic like this with Baylor. She was dunking a basketball. I don't know if that's GOAT status, but men have been saying the WNBA players need to lower the rim for a lot of years now. But Caitlin is the GOAT. But you got grown women who are dunking. I mean, uh, young women who are dunking a ball, and that's not GOAT status. We've seen this for years with the likes of Sue Bird and many other white females who have thrived, thrived during competition. Caitlin Clark is not a goat status she's not an anomaly she's not none of this she's a educational purpose tool being used by most overgrown male people who don't like people who look like me and you and they'll do anything to discredit us so they keep throwing this narrative caitlin clark the greatest goat in the world that is if you don't watch basketball you're going to think of her as a GOAT. That is, if you don't respect the legends like Sue Bird and many other ones, you're going to call Caitlin Clark the GOAT. See, Gino, the UConn coach, he says everything that I was saying or saying right now. He said those same words until Caitlin Clark beat LSU and he celebrated her victory as if his own daughter won. He even went out his way to say he was rooting for her to beat LSU. Why would a coach who's coaching a group of women in the final four himself root for Caitlin Clark to beat LSU. Number one, he's happy that his women didn't have to face Angel Reese and big foe Flage. That is the truth. So he went from saying Paige Buckner is the greatest woman player to now he retracted his word because he know he would have to face Caitlin Clark. And I guess somebody in the media either paid him or his fear not sticking to the Mayo code. So somebody got on his ear. So now he's giving her praise. I see all the tactics that's being displayed in front of our eyes. No. Don't tell me anything about Angel Reese not being humble. I'm going to make a separate video on that. The truth is... Most of you guys who root against people like me during any type of sport, any type of sports being played, whether it's the Floor Mayweather or whether it's Michael Vick or anything like that, you guys keep a grudge, man. You guys keep a grudge like nobody else. I've seen it. You won't even let the beautiful women of South Carolina take a victory and win it and let them have that one shining moment. No, you have, I'm going to make a separate video about that. You guys have to give credit only to the Iowa basketball team. ESPN barely is talking about the accomplishment of Staley only losing three games in three years. You, you don't hear any of this. You're hearing Iowa being the greatest team that there was like, what? Look at the outstanding job by South Carolina. Where is the credit for that? Backhand compliments you keep giving Coach Staley. You know, the coach that you guys barely talked about for the last couple of seasons. The coach you guys gave no airtime to. You know, those group of women. Now, all of a sudden, Caitlin Clark is the greatest. And Don Staley said so. No, she didn't. She said she's one of the great. Just like there's many other great women basketball player shout out to don staley for being strategic and intelligent when she made that comment I'm not gonna let you mayo people get over what you guys said to us and what you did i've said it and i've spoken it and maybe i might make a part two of this caitlin clark is the most overrated basketball player i have seen in this lifetime I've never seen a player that has never won anything keep getting praise and and galvanized up. Whew, I can't wait in a couple of months when the WNBA have their first game and we get to see this so-called greatest player ever. She's the next Jordan. She's better than Jordan. We heard everything that you guys spewed out here. Remember, a group of people who have never been humbled throughout history while you are conquering this earth, while you are colonizing innocent people like me and people who look like me, all of a sudden, I've seen all my life, you guys get to be the standard of people 
who get to talk about being humble. There is no humble or humility in people like you guys. You couldn't wait to call Angel Reese a loser. You guys bullied her. And when she responded and rebutted you guys bullying her, you guys then for called her the villain using clowns like Emmanuel Aiko. We're going to make a video about him too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Bless, one the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay Bless, most overrated basketball player I've seen in my lifetime. Peace.